Hi, I'm James. I'm a design manager here in the robotics team at Dyson. Firstly, congratulations on your new Dyson 360 Viznav robot. Today, I'm going to take you through how to set up your machine, connect it to the app, and then give you some tips for your first clean. Inside the box, you'll find the robot, a charger, and the dock, which comes in two parts. To download the app, scan the QR code. The app is essential to get the most out of your robot and use all of its features. There are also two other short guides in the box, but the full manual is also available within the app. The first thing to do is to set up your dock correctly. This is really important to do right, as it means your robot can automatically return to the dock to recharge. There are a few things to consider. Firstly, make sure the dock is near a plug or a power socket so you can power the dock. Then make sure there's at least 50 centimeters of clear space around the dock. This is so the robot can see the dock and automatically navigate back to it to recharge. Then make sure the dock is flat against the wall and on a flat floor surface. You then want to make sure the dock's in an area with a strong Wi-Fi signal. Then check the dock isn't underneath a piece of furniture or in an area of low light. And then also make sure the dock's not in an area of direct sunlight. Plug the connector into the back of the dock and you'll see a blue light illuminate when it's powered. You can then adjust the length of the cable by wrapping it around the back of the dock. Your robot tracks these fiducials in order to navigate back to the dock, so make sure they aren't obscured. If you do have any docking issues, it's a good idea to make sure these fiducials are visible to the robot. Now place your robot on the dock. The screen will brighten up and the Dyson logo will appear. This is the robot booting up. Then follow the on-screen instructions. You can tap and swipe to make selections, but then firmly press to confirm. Next, we connect to the app. The app is essential to get the most out of your robot. It allows you to customize how you clean, and it also enables automatic software upgrades to improve your robot's performance. To connect your robot, ensure that it's on the dock. Then open the app and follow the on-screen instructions. Before you clean with your robot, you need to prepare your home. The robot can't see things smaller than a few centimeters in size, so you need to tidy away things like cables, loose items of clothing, and other small objects. You need to make sure there aren't any liquid spillages in your home. And then also make sure that any loose fitting rugs or mats are tidied away. Then make sure there aren't any objects around the tops of stairs, and that the doors are open to all the areas of the home that you want to clean. You can then choose a power mode for your robot, either on the screen of the robot or on the app. I'd recommend using auto mode. In this mode, the robot automatically increases suction where there are high levels of dust. It will clean the open areas of your home which you can access before then going around and doing the edges. In auto mode, your robot can clean for up to 50 minutes per charge, but this will vary on your dust levels, your floor type, and your furniture layout. When the robot needs to recharge, it will automatically return to the dock to charge. Then, once fully charged, it will go back and resume cleaning from where it left off. If there are any areas in your home or furniture that your robot has trouble with, you can then set up restriction areas in the app. These will help the robot to avoid getting stuck there in the future. When your robot starts cleaning, it will start following a spiral or oil drop cleaning pattern. This may look slightly odd, but it's actually engineered to make sure your robot has great coverage around your entire home. If your robot detects an obstacle, it will carefully navigate itself around it. However, some obstacles are harder for the robot to detect. 
In this case, it will use its bump sensors to detect the obstacle and then navigate around it. The robot will attempt to recover itself from most issues it might see in your home. However, if there is an issue where it needs your help, it will alert you both on the app and on the screen of the robot itself. And on both of these, it will show you how you can fix the issue. The app will alert you when the robot has finished cleaning. Here, you can then see a summary of where your robot has cleaned and also see dust hotspots for a scientific proof of a deep clean. That's all I want to run through today. In summary, set up your dock correctly for reliable docking, connect to the app for the best robot performance, and then remember to tidy away small obstacles every time before you clean. There are also some other features in the app, such as mapping, zoning and scheduling. But for now, I hope I've helped you set up your robot, and I hope you enjoy cleaning with it as well.